And then we have all these people that have pre-diabetes. Like I see that every day on the yeah. days when I work at the hospital, you know, you, oh, uh, I have pre-diabetes or I'm borderline or whatever. So they're like trending towards diabetes, super common. Um, but these people, they don't worry too much about it because they're just borderline, right? It's like, oh, I'm just kind of, you know, it mm-hmm. could get risky, but it's not too bad. It's kind of the way they probably think of it because it's just, oh, I'm, you know, I'm getting there. But it sounds like in pretty much 100% of the cases, those people already have excessively high insulin levels to a degree that is probably causing some harm to their body, some pathology and, and some different problems. Would that be accurate? Yes. Yes. 100%. Um, by, by the time they're pre-diabetic, so their insulin has been high for a long time and now they're becoming so resistant to their insulin that even though it's dramatically elevated, it's not able to clear the sugar from the blood very well. Now the blood sugars are starting to climb and it gets to here and they say you're pre-diabetic and then it keeps going, going, going. And then they say they're outright type two diabetic. 